Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Gabrielle, and this year I've been reading through the book of Revelation. And man, it is so fascinating. So I thought to myself, wow, I don't want to keep this to myself. I should share it with someone. So I'd like to share it with you. Would you like to join me? Okay, let's go. Okay, what book was I reading through? Yes, that's right, the book of Revelation. And where is it found? Can you find it? It's in the very, very end of your Bible, the last book of the Bible. And it's full of interesting symbols, like dragons and angels. Well, don't worry about that now. We're going to find out how we can tell what those things mean. Okay, let's keep going. Now first, let's pretend we're going way, way, way back in time. And there we find a man writing down some information. His name was John, and he was an apostle or disciple of Jesus. Many, many years after Jesus died and went back to heaven, John the apostle was sent to prison on the island of Patmos for teaching about Jesus. Can you imagine? While he was there, Jesus sent an angel to give him a special message, and he was told to write down everything that he saw and heard. So he did, and that's now what we call the Book of Revelation. The Book of Revelation is both a prophecy, which tells us about what's to come, and an instruction guide, sharing with us how to know Jesus better and how to follow him. Revelation doesn't give us all the details about the future, but God gives us enough to know that Jesus loves us, he wants to save us, and he warns us about danger. The prophecies in Revelation cover a time from when John was alive all the way to when the earth will be made new and Satan will be destroyed forever. While John was on Patmos, he saw a vision or a dream, and he saw some things that might be strange to us. He saw dragons and beasts and four horses flying across the sky. These are symbols. Do you know what a symbol is? Hmm. Do you know what this picture means? Of course you do. You know there's a bathroom nearby. This is a symbol of a bathroom, and the symbols in Revelation work the same way. They represent something else. So when John saw a dragon in his vision, he knew that it meant Satan. And how did he know this? Because he had studied the scriptures well. And we also can search through our Bible to find out what the symbols in Revelation mean. Now, of course, if we want to know what's in the Bible, we have to start reading the Bible. Are you ready? Let's read together. Revelation chapter 1, verses 1 to 2. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Of who? Of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Which things? Things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Unto who? unto John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all the things that he saw. Which things? The things that he saw. Do you know what the word of Revelation means? Not yet? Well, Revelation means to reveal something. Have you ever seen a box that's all wrapped up and you want to know what's inside? You open the box to reveal what's inside, and Revelation reveals something. Let's review what we've learned. Are you ready for a few questions? Okay, question number one. What does the word Revelation mean? Hey, good job. That's right. 
Revelation means to reveal something. Okay, here's the next question. What does Revelation teach us? Is it A, about John's time? B, about our time? C, about how to know Jesus? Or D, all of the above? Okay, last question, number three. Who wrote down everything he saw and heard about Jesus in his vision? Who wrote the book of Revelation? Yes, it was John the disciple. Wow, you were really paying attention. Good job, I'm proud of you. I really enjoyed spending this time with you and reading the Bible together and learning more about Jesus. I hope you'll join me again as we learn more interesting things in the book of Revelation. So, bye for now. Until next time.